What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to share with you a Shopify dropshipping store that in the past 12 months did a little bit over 330,000 US dollars in sales. And that translated into a little bit over 60,000 US dollars in profit. What's really interesting about this store and the reason I wanted to show it to you is because the majority of that profit and sales actually came through the Q4 months making the products I'm about to show you, the ad creators I'm about to show you, the store I'm about to show you, perfect and ideal for this time of year. So make sure you stay tuned to see what those are. Before we jump into it though, just a very quick 30 second message. I wanna show you a new feature that I recently added to my real dropshipping community. If you're like, Jack, what the hell is that community? <laughs> then there's a link in the video description below. You can click, go and check the community out and see what's what. This is a new feature I added. I wanted to kind of like touch base with the members on a more personalized way. So I added this, how can I help feature? Basically what this is, is if you ever get stuck or confused or you're not really sure what to do next, or you've done something that hasn't worked out and you're not really sure what the next steps are, this is an opportunity for you to submit a very quick Google form and 48 hours later, you will get a personalized video message from myself helping you overcome what that hurdle is or laying out exactly what your next action steps should be to help you reach your goals. If that sounds a sort like the sort of thing that you need access to and would be beneficial for you, then just check out the links in the description below this video. Thanks. With that being said, let's jump into today's video topic. So the store I'm gonna show you is called, it's a German Shopify store, I'm not quite sure um, what that name means. And basically what they do is they drop ship personalized coffee spoons and tumblers. These are brilliant, brilliant products because the target market is obviously very, very massive. It's very targetable as well across all of the different social media platforms. And the target market that I believe these are perfect for is perfect for the Facebook platform, which I'll touch on in a second. But for now, let me show you some numbers. So in full transparency, the numbers for the last few months haven't been great. As we can see since March, pretty non-existent. The reason and the value I believe that's gonna come from this video is the fact that they made the majority of their profits. So 5K profit in October, 8K profit in November, 11K in December, 10K in Jan, and 11K in Feb. They made, they made the most, the majority of their profits in the next five months that are coming. Trends repeat themselves. So when I show you the products and the setup, yes, you could try and sell the same spoons, but if I was you, I would take this proven concept that I'm about to show you and I would do it with a different product and in a different country as well. Drop shipping is, the drop shipping space is full of copycats and it's just becoming increasingly difficult and as it should to succeed at this business model if you just go in and following the crowds and doing exactly the same as everybody else. Because the harsh reality is, that most people fail at this business. So if you do what most people are doing, then you're also gonna fail. So you need to, at least in my mind and from my experience, my advice is to take proven concepts like I'm about to show you in this video and apply it to something unique and original that somebody else isn't doing. So if you come onto their Facebook page, 546 likes, it's not really relevant. What is relevant is this, this page is currently running at so I would guess that the owner of this Shopify store realizes the same thing I realize, that the product spikes massively in demand through Q4 because people want to buy it as gifts and they're starting up again to make the most of it until the store sales or they're trying to kind of dress it so that anybody who wants to purchase it, if the numbers are obviously up towards five, 6K profit a month, it makes the business worth a lot more. What's really good about this too, if I just zoom in and show you a couple of different ad creatives, and we can see that the majority of them are image ads. What you'll probably also notice is the fact that they're not in English and they're actually in German. So this is a super, super important and critical element, I think, to the success of this business because you may have already thought, well, what are they selling these spoons for? Like spoons are a pretty cheap product. How are they able to do this profitably? So I'll touch on that in a second. And a key point to that is the fact that they're selling these spoons in Germany. And the reason why that's so important is because of this. The average CPM in Germany is about $7.60 with an average CPC of 65 cents, an average CTR of 1.17. This is Facebook ads. 
At the moment, the average CPM in the US is, is way over $50. It's like, it, I think I would guess it's somewhere between sort of in and around, I would say ballpark 15% of the cost to advertise in Germany as it is in the US at the moment. And this is how they're able to sell cheaper products with smaller profit margins because it's so cheap to get traffic onto your website. So again, take the concepts I'm going to show you and maybe sell it in a different European country where CPMs are also very, very low. Let's have a quick look at some of these creatives. Super, super easy. They've obviously sourced a couple of samples of these products for themselves, gone to a local coffee shop, got their mobile phone out like that and just filmed it. Super, super easy and yet super, super effective. I, I would say in my opinion, like without being harsh and horrible, the, well, there hasn't been a lot of production that's gone into these, but I feel like in today's world, these more authentic ones kind of, people can relate to more and they get better traction. So there's no excuses for anybody watching this video not being able to replicate something similar to what these guys are doing in terms of the quality of their ad creators. If we jump onto the website then, I've got my Koala Inspector open, so just to kind of draw some attention to their best-selling products over here. I'll show you the top kind of five. Um, their average order value is in and around sort of 20 euros, so I would say it's a mixture of this best-selling spoon here, but then also these different bundle offers that you can get. So. This is the best selling product at 15 pounds, super, super cheap product. If you try and sell something for 15 pounds in the US, you've got no chance of making it work in my opinion because CPMs are so expensive, but in Germany, that's not the case. Delivering one to three days, so obviously using a local supplier, that'll be a key element to their success as well because um, it's probably not as important or critical in Germany because they won't be as used to seeing dropshipping ads, but certainly in the UK, in the US, places like that, people are used to seeing dropshipping ads. So the second that you can put something like this on your website, instantly sets you apart and puts you on a pedestal above all the other dropshipping people. It's not actually a custom engraved product, so I would suspect that they already have these, well they will do if it's delivering one to three days. So good morning, my heart beats, I love you, good morning. Um, and then you can get one with a gift box as well. So there's obviously quite a few people going for this gift box idea because it bumps up the price and that's why that average order value is a bit higher. You could take this element um, and go one step further if you can find a supplier. Um, in fact, before we go into that, just to give you some context into what these guys are most likely paying. So 15 pounds for one spoon. If we come onto AliExpress, we can see that shipping is 145, cost is 101. These guys are paying no more than two euros in my opinion. Um, and as we can see on here, there's lots of different options. So made of honor. So there's a clear kind of target audience for that. Good morning, Nana, clear target audience. Um, I love you like a fat kid loves cake. Clear target audience maybe, but there's lots and lots of different options of course um, that you can go and lots and lots of different paths and routes you can go down with this one. It's all about finding one that's unique and most passionate and relevant to your target audience, of course. So whether you go down the Good Morning Nana and it's advertised as a Christmas present that a child would buy for their grandparents, um, that could be your marketing angle and I think a good one too, as well for Facebook. If we come back onto the website then, um, take you further down, they have Klarna or PayPal, two kind of household popular names people are familiar with to help kind of piggyback off the reputation. I'm not sure if you'll pick that up very well, but she's speaking in German. Uh, again, I think a really like critical element and point and reason that contributes towards their success is that when somebody, a German person comes onto this website and the whole website is in German, they see people on there talking in German, there's no doubt that this is a German business. And I think it's a common mistake that a lot of people make when they're advertising in the US or the UK, is that if you're advertising in the UK and all of the accents are in American, it's not, it doesn't marry up, right? You wanna advertise people who speak um, UK. You wanna advertise and use people who have an English accent, not an American accent, because people will connect with that more and it humanizes the brand more and it makes the brand feel more authentic as well and it will definitely resonate with your audience a lot better.
There's different offer here, so which is 60 pounds, obviously quite expensive. You get six spoons and I believe an elegant gift box too, which I would imagine a few people are going for. And also this option here, which is 39 pounds, which is another gift box with four different spoons. So the key takeaway in this place, so the key takeaway from here is to take the concept. It's an engraved spoon. So the key takeaway from this video is to take the proven concept and go and do it somewhere where it's not as common or as popular or as competitive. And that is your key recipe for success, in my opinion, is to take something that you know sells for a fact and sells profitably and go and do it where you are the only person doing it. And that will significantly bump up and increase your chances for success. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to check out that Real Drop Shipping community. We are having a live Q&A this Wednesday, so make sure you get in before then, and I will see you on that Zoom call, hopefully. Cheers.